we go. Light should go green. Oh, it just went green. <laughs> so cool. I love that. Hello and welcome to another out of spec reviews video. I actually wasn't planning on making this video until I made a quick little Twitter post and we received some responses where no one knows this technology exists. And uh, to me, it's still shocking every day I drive our Audi e-tron. So this is our 2019 Audi e-tron. We've loved it. We've made some videos with it. And uh, it's really Alyssa's car and it's her daily driver. It's been wonderful. But it predicts traffic lights and like knows exactly when the light will turn green or go red or how long it will stay red for. And I have to tell you, it is one of the best things about driving it around our small city here in Fort Collins, Colorado. It's just nice to know how long you'll be stopped at that light or what speed you need to go to make it as a green light. Really cool tech. So I'm gonna take you a quick tour of the technology and maybe we'll see it expand to other cars. Like I, you would think Tesla's would have this. I thought it's just a great technology to integrate with all the uh, assisted driving functions that are coming out. Let's get into it. So traffic light detection is really cool. And the car is not using any camera based system for this. I think there's 22,000 intersections as of, as of a year ago in North America that work with Audi's back end system to tell you when traffic lights go. What's interesting is just last year, Germany started getting this in Dusseldorf, Ingolstadt, which is where Audi's headquarters is, and maybe a couple other small cities. But this has been around in America since 2016. I believe it started in New York. Uh, now there's cities such as LA, San Francisco, the Denver metro area where we live right on the edge on the north side of that. And it's all in, in working. Let me show you, tell you a little bit about how it works. This of course is our e-tron, it's a 2019. I think we pay $100 a year for their premium connectivity maxed out service. And I don't know exactly what that all includes, but part of what that includes is the full LTE subscription for hotspot and data, part of which uh, comes with this red light situation. So we're gonna jump in the car. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how the city's connected where it works, where sometimes it's still a little glitchy. It's not a perfect system you can rely on. Uh, mostly when like ambulances come through intersections, stuff you just can't predict where the lights have to change. The car obviously doesn't know that. Um, but there's some really neat tech going around here. So let me demonstrate it to you and talk about it as we drive around Fort Collins. Welcome to the inside of the Audi e-tron now. And um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. So let me show you this really quick here. This is our instrument cluster right in front of us. And there's a whole bunch of different menus we can bring up. For example, we can make the whole thing a map. And again, this is all from 20, I don't know, what is this, 2019? So there's a whole bunch of menus, but this is the traffic sign menu that we will be using here. And so you can see it's already counting down traffic lights. So that's what we're gonna use as our test today to see how accurate it is. But I also, if I don't wanna keep it up on this screen, it's also just in the head-up display. Now I can't really show you the head-up display. That's you know a projection in the windshield, but this car is optioned with it. And so I have a hologram out in front of the car that's telling me how long I'll have to wait for the traffic lights. So what we wanna do is we wanna come up this way. We wanna tell the Audi that, hey, we're driving towards this traffic light. And you'll actually see right here, if you take a look, 58 seconds till it goes. Now, it sometimes comes in and comes out if it doesn't know exactly what light you're going to, like it just did there. But driving up and down, if you give it a predicted path, it's really good. So let's, uh, let's cruise around a little bit and we'll show you how it works. So here we go, counting down 39 seconds here. 38, 37. I guess maybe while we're waiting for this light to go, and we'll see how accurate this is. Um, first of all, super relaxing because I know I have 30 seconds to text or do whatever I need to do. I mean, that's, I use the system wrong. Don't do what I do. The system's really meant to reduce stress, but also emissions, which is kind of cool. Um, Audi claims, at least on fuel savings, this is an electric car, but you can save about 10% of fuel if you time it right. They try and set you up for this green wave by recommending an average speed you should drive so that you hit green light after green light after green light. And it seems to work really well, in my opinion. So here we go, light should go green. Oh, it just went green. <laughs> so cool, I love that. Still, I mean, we've been driving this car for 
I don't know, six months now, Alyssa, something like that. A little bit, yeah. So now it says lights going. We have 43 seconds, 41 seconds until this light ahead goes green. So I know I can kind of get up here, get in the right lane, get launch control ready just in time. This car doesn't have launch control. No. Um, but let's talk about how this system works because I understand it a little bit. They have a partner, I think it's called, it's TIL, Traffic Information Lighting, maybe it is something like that. Uh, I'll leave a link to the like official press release where you can also see which cities are enabled. They have a little interactive map that they update every day with new intersections that are coming. And they've been doing this for five years now. Uh, it's not like it's new stuff at all. Maybe longer than that, six years. Uh, so five, four, three, two, one, and show the light, green. <laughs> oh, as this guy comes right in front of us and almost smashes into that Tesla, that was crazy. Um, don't drive like that guy. But what's interesting is it doesn't give you the last three second countdown. So now it says 37 seconds until this light goes. So traffic information, TIL, whatever this service is, basically takes all of the data that Colorado Department of Transportation, in this case, or Fort Collins City, is uh, basically managing their entire network on an off-grid base to control traffic flow. That's all sent to Audi's partner, which then beams the signals to the cars. So we pay for the connection to the car, which, which allows this lighting service to work pretty well. Now, occasionally we have noticed some glitches with this, like I've mentioned. For example, especially with ambulances or even with nighttime, when we're, you know, the lighting stuff is moving around based off of what cars are sitting in a certain space. And I've noticed the car reacting where like, I'll see someone coming up to a turn light on the other side where it has to rework the lighting at the intersection at night. And the car goes, oh wait, actually it's not gonna be green anymore. Um, you shouldn't do that. So right now the car has said green light, we're good to go ahead. And uh, it recommended a 25 mile an hour cruising speed. Um, and that way we would hit the next light when it's green. That way we don't come to a stop and we can coast. Now, obviously there's traffic conditions along with that. Right now it actually says if I go 40 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, we should be able to make it. So let's see what it's saying, 30. It's thinking we'll be able to make this light, but I don't know, it's not looking like it to me. I'm gonna say, sorry, Audi, you're wrong. <laughs> there we go, it's green now. So maybe it's like, if you just get up to the edge, of course, traffic conditions play a part in it. To me, the most useful thing isn't the speed recommendation to make the green light, it's to tell me how long the red is gonna be there for. I love that feature. And so, um, yeah, the cars are beamed. Now, what happens when the car loses signal to the LTE connection? My understanding is Audi can actually do its own algorithms based off of where cars are parked around the city, if there's enough of them, and beam that to other cars and make predictions. Now, I don't think that's gonna work very well all of the time, but they claim like, okay, at night, you know, doing this whole like, okay, there's a car coming from this way. We need to let that guy through based off of the sensor in the ground. I guess the Audi can kind of calculate this out. I'm not sure how that all works or even if we're there yet. That, that I only heard that example in Germany, but here in Fort Collins, it's uh, really working wonderfully well. We get to see how long traffic lights stay red for. I don't know, Alyssa, do you use this feature? Oh, I use it all the time. Really? I love using it because I kind of have that impatience at a, at a red light. And so whenever I'm not driving this car, I'm just like, so I have no clue when it's going to turn green. And I'm it... show it over here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And it's going to count down now. 3, 2, 1, green. That is just so neat, isn't it? Yeah, let's take this to the car wash. Yeah, all right, we, the car does need kind of a car wash. Uh, one thing we actually are gonna be doing with the e-tron, if our viewers are curious, is it's getting fully blacked out on the outside. Yeah. That's um, as of Alyssa's request. Yeah, my request, as yep. you guys can all predict, my yep. request. Yep. 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 It is. Yep. So, uh, yep, fully blacked out e-tron, it'll look great. Colton's gonna be wrapping some stuff and getting it you know paint corrected and all that stuff so we'll have a whole series on that on our out of spec detailing channel check that out if you're interested in car detailing but there you have it i don't know if there's much more to say other than this technology exists i've only experienced it in audis up to this point not in other vehicles uh, i know bmw has something similar but i think audis really got it and again it's been around since 2016 
How nice would this be if it's integrated with some of the FSD stuff, light screen when the car says it, it's really good. Um, mm -hmm. How nice would this be if it's integrated with driver assistance and getting cars to just kind of flow through a little bit better through a city? Don't you think that'd be cool, Alyssa? Be cool, but kind of scary. So to our viewers, comment below with, A, do you think this is a really neat and cool feature? I don't know how you couldn't think it's cool. I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and B, what uh, do you think are the actual practical use cases of this? So obviously it's nice to reduce stress. It's nice to recommend a speed to maybe reduce emissions or increase range in electric cars uh, to just keep a, this green wave as Audi calls it. Um, but what would you like to see this used for? Could be a really cool thing to have uh, really for a million different applications. I'm curious to see what you all think. Thanks for watching another out of spec reviews video. Fall is here and it's beautiful. And um, yeah, just happy to be cruising around in the Audi. We got a set of studded Nokian Hakapalita 10 EV tires to throw on this thing soon. Say that 10 times. Yep, I, I do <laughs> like that name. <laughs> so uh, yeah, lots of Nokian videos coming up. We're gonna put Nokians pretty much on all the cars, get them ready for winter. But all of that you'll see on my personal channel, which is just called Kyle Connor. That's where we update you on our own cars. But I thought this was a neat enough topic to bring to you since this is our general reviews channel. and after living with this system, it really transforms my stress level driving around town. Mm -hmm. And and it sometimes is like, oh, the light's turning red. Like, let's put it in dynamic mode and rip. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. Take a look at this. A purple Model 3 that going in. That actually looks good. That I looks like great. That color. Yeah, really cool. Going into the car wash. Touchless, mm -hmm. of course, before anyone freaks out. Yes, this is touchless. All right. See you on another episode soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.